Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? Today it's dal pakwan, a favorite with most people. For that, we will need to soak a cup and a half of chana dal for 4 hours. Keep it aside for 4 hours and let it soak well. We will also need a teaspoon of cumin seeds, jeera, some salt, oil and just a little turmeric powder that is haldi. Let's now add the dal to the cooker and we will also add some water and the level of the water has to be a little above the dal. Now let's add some salt to the dal. Just a teaspoon and a little more as per your taste. Add in the jeera, the cumin seeds and just a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder that is haldi. Now we will give all this a slight stir and then we will put on the lid for the cooker and pressure cook the dal for three whistles. Now let's get on with the pakwan. I have taken two cups of all-purpose flour that is maida, some jeera about a teaspoon, a little few dill seeds just a quarter teaspoon, quite a bit of oil and salt. Let's start kneading the dough. First we will crush a little ajwain into the dough, add salt as per your taste. Put in the jeera that is the cumin seeds and for every cup of all-purpose flour you have to add two tablespoons of oil. So here we will be using four tablespoons of oil. We need a very stiff dough. So once the oil is added, we will mix the oil very well with the flour. Let it spread to every part of the flour so that when you hold the dough in your hand it comes together like that. Now let's add the water a little at a time. Totally I will be using around 3 fourths cup of water or maybe a little less than that. Now start binding the dough. It has to be a very stiff dough. There. We've got a nice stiff dough which we shall now cover and leave aside for 20 minutes. For the dal tadka we need 2 teaspoons of chili powder, 2 teaspoons of cumin powder, 1 and a half teaspoon of amchur powder and a little more than half a teaspoon of garam masala. We also need 2 green chilies which have been finely chopped and some oil. For garnishing we will require raw onions which have been cut finely, some tomato and freshly cut coriander leaves. It's been 20 minutes now. Let's massage the dough a little and then we will form lime sized balls that is the size of a limbo lemon. From this dough, we will get totally around 14 portions. So we'll get 14 pakwans. Let's keep them in the bowl and keep them covered so that they don't dry. Now, let's take one at a time and roll out the pakwan. We have to roll them medium thin, not very, very thin. So, Roll them patiently and nicely. There, see? It's thin at the same time, it's not that thick also. So let's prick it with a fork so that it doesn't swell in the oil and keep it aside. Like this, we will roll all the pakwans and then we will begin to fry them. The oil has been heating and into the hot oil on a medium flame we will fry the pakwan until it is nice and golden brown. There. Isn't that lovely and crisp? Absolutely crunchy and crisp. 
Beautiful. Pile them up in a plate and start frying the rest. Lovely. Look at that. Golden, crunchy and nice. There, our pakwan is ready. Now let's go to the dal. After three whistles, let your cooker rest and then open the cooker and the dal will be ready. In a pan, heat some jeera. Once the jeera crackles, you can add in the green chilies. Let the green chilies be for some time and then add in all the masalas one by one. Give that a good stir and when you get a nice aroma, pour in the dal. Lovely. Now keep stirring the dal. Stir it well so that the masalas and the dal mix well and bring it to a boil. Our dal is now ready and we have garnished it with coriander. So folks do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon and write your lovely comments. Thank you for watching.